Dave, it was a disappointing afternoon. Give us your overall assessment. Yeah, obviously disappointed. Um, result wasn't the one we wanted um, or, or were looking for. But I suppose I'm, I'm still here. Probably feeling a little bit like Brendan Rodgers felt after last night's game in terms of didn't see it coming. <laughs> but you can't make the mistakes we've made. Um, and listen, credit to, to Maidenhead in terms of in terms of their performance. But you can't concede the goals we've conceded. They're absolutely um, shocking. Um, individual mistakes defensively, all over the place. Um, and that's given us given us a mountain to climb. Like I said, I thought we we started the game not well, not great. If, I, if, I, if I'm honest, um, give them a leg up with the goal, get the equaliser, and have have a really good spell where we've got them penned back in. We're making chances. We hit the crossbar. We have we have opportunities, and then go and give them another goal. Um, from again, even from their perspective, I don't think they're. Um, Sort of bullish enough to say it was it was great play. It was horrific defending from our perspective, and then that gives you a, like I say gives you an issue. Um, the sending off just prior to half time allows you to change things at the, at the interval and look at. No, it's going to be difficult in terms of them probably getting behind the ball and banking in. But the last thing you need to do when you're playing against a team like us, give them give them a leg up when we give them two legs up, which put the game out of reach for us in perspective. But we've still again got to do more although it then becomes difficult because of the manner in which you um, concede the goals can be um, can be pretty pretty draining and pretty dented in terms of confidence. I just kind of want to go back to the beginning and the team sheet came out, ch change your system especially with that, with that for the back, it, was that mainly down to Gary Little not being available today and obviously Odyssey and Johnson starting? A little bit a little bit of both um, just in terms of in terms of where we're at we could have we could have played Cass and gone with a, a with a back three. Um, that would have, knowing that going off what their system was, knowing it would have left us three against one on the on the halfway line. We should have been able to deal with it two against one. We, we didn't, and we, and we didn't do that do that well enough. But when you're at home, especially here, you want to be in the ascendancy. You want to be on the front foot. Um, and we just thought that that, that shape um, would allow us to allow us to do that. Um, you don't get a chance to see that because. Say so if you defend as we defended, um, the two instances. To be fair, they, they, they had an opportunity before that where they, they should have scored. Um, so within the first half, they probably had three attacks and scored and scored two goals. And um, that then becomes almost from our perspective, players on the pitch a little bit, a little bit sort of panic stations at half time. You try and like I say, you try and calm that down in terms of how we have to go about things. Like I say, the incidents after half time are kamikaze, uh, like I say, out of character. But you've got to put them behind you and move on as, as as angry and frustrated as you, as you can be. People are going to make mistakes, unfortunately, today we've made poor mistakes in poor areas of the pitch that result with the ball in our net, um, and that's not a good recipe for winning football matches. Was that the reason for the three substitutions all at the same time, just looking at what was sort of? I could have made seven subs if. And I don't think anyone who watched the game would say anything or could say anything differently. Um, I don't think anybody had a, had a, had a good game, if, if, if I'm honest. Obviously, we sat there, probably should be slaughtering people in there, disappointed that he scored a great goal, and that'll be forgotten about because the performance was um, not where we've been at, and I suppose not where we've been at because of. The uh, the nature of the goals you concede, making uh, the situation more adverse and putting and putting pressure on. Um, so, no disappointed, um, but you can't sort of dwell on it. Um, like I say, you, you, what, we, what you've got to do, and what I've said to the, the players in there for, for me is these these games at the back end of the season, um, knowing what they're like. All of a sudden, it's a, it is a different, uh, a different atmosphere. It is there is adversity. You are under pressure, and you've got to show character, and you've got to show um, a real belief in what you're doing and get round people. And that would, like I say, forget the result. Um, that for me was the disappointment. Um, you want people to sort of step up and go. You know, I'm going to get us back in this game, and we need we need a ten outfield players to do that. For me, too many hit. Um, and didn't want to take on the responsibility um, and 
that's going to be telling towards the back end of the season, say back end of the season, especially in the playoff games, because they are tight games and you could go behind. Everything can't be um, or can't go swimmingly all the time. So you've got to show a bit of, like I say, a bit of character, a bit of spirit when things aren't going well. It's easy to uh, be encouraging and be shouting and be, um, I, I suppose, leading that way when when you're in front. Show is it when things aren't quite going so well? Uh, because, let's say, we'll need that at the back end. How do you assess our league situation now? Two defeats in a row. Do you see? You spoke about how these last final games are all big cup finals. Obviously, these last three games now after the back of two defeats. Confidence low in there. The white man. No one likes losing. <coughs> but again, I'll talk about again about about character and things. If you lose confidence on losing a tight football match and then the mistakes we've conceded there, if, if you lose confidence from that, then you'll look back at the end of your career and you won't have achieved much. So let's go and tell it right, we, we've all been there, we've all played football matches, we've all at times had really bad games. They're lucky they've had a bad game, there's not supporters in here telling them they've had a bad game. I can tell them and they can move on from that. So um, people had bad games. Um, in order to win, you probably need six or seven to have good games. We never had nowhere near six or seven good games today. So that then becomes, all right, I've, I've, I've not performed well. Tomorrow's a different day. And again, coming from me, that's pretty different to what I'd, 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 I'd normally say, but we have to move on. Like I say we've got two tough away games and then like I say, uh, uh, hopefully a, a really good occasion, a great occasion here to have supporters back in the ground against against Weymouth. And whether we win three games and we finish second, we win three games, we uh, we, we finish third, we win two and draw, but whatever it might be, we'll, we'll be where we are. Um, ideally, yeah, we want to finish top. And if you can't finish top, we'll do second or third. And out of the four teams that are up the top, the one place you don't want to finish is, is fourth. Um, but at the moment, that looks like we're favourites to, favourites to do that. We've got to make sure we do everything we can to turn that round. And if not, we've got to win three playoff games at the, at the back end of the season to ultimately try and be a football league team um, next season. Um, and like I say, it's something we've all taken at the start of the season um, and I'll still take now and I'll still back us to be able to do that. Just finally, I know you mentioned there, but just for Hartlepool fans, I might be on sat at home almost a little bit worried from from obviously the two games, obviously I, I, know, I know you believe in your squad a lot, what, what would your message be then? Um, you're going to lose football matches at any level, I've said that, said that before, what you want to do is bounce back, we've not been able to bounce back today, um, but I can look at it and go, if, if, if uh, I suppose we were sat here and we'd been a, a sort of a shadow of the team we've been over the last three months, then Maybe that you have, have some concerns away from here. I certainly wouldn't. That's totally, like I say, out of character. We've made really, really um, bad mistakes in key areas of the pitch, and when you do that, you're going to lose. You're going to lose football matches. So, like I say, you've got to be big, brave, stand yourself up, put your, put your chest out, go and work on things through the week, and, and, and go to all the shot on on Saturday, next Saturday, looking to looking to win. Um, and making sure that we're in good shape and making sure, again, from a player's perspective, that if you've had a bad game today, um, that ultimately your place isn't under threat because there's players in there that want to be in the team and they've got to, again, if I'm out of the team, I'm looking at it going, Oof, I don't mind a bit of this. So I don't mind, well, I can, I can guarantee because I'll make sure next week will be bright, next week will be lively, next week will be competitive and we'll be going to all the shot looking to win. Dave, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.